Hello guys, I'm Kiri. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Fiat 128. The particular car in front of us is a sedan model. The Italian cars are very attractive for everyone, no matter the design or the engine, sport car or normal car, even the small cars are so magnificent. There are some cool factors about every Italian car, and these are the design and the engine. We know artworks from Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and everyone admires them. The same in modern days with car design and designers like Giorgetto Giugiaro, Nuccio Bertone, Pininfarina, etc. etc. Every work of them is a piece of art, from very small and cheap cars to very expensive, very rare super or hyper car. Even the very first and original Fiat Panda design is so beautiful and there is something magnificent. Probably you're not gonna find an Italian car that the design was made by some foreign designer, but you're gonna find many foreign cars, let's say English, German or everywhere around the world, the design was made by Italian master designer. That's why every Italian car or car made by Italian designer is so cool. The same with the car in front of us, Fiat 128 sedan, engineered by Dante Giacosa. This was the first car to use the layout, engine gearbox in one line, transversely mounted, unequal drive shafts, McPherson struts, and this Dante Giacosa pattern, front wheel drive layout, it became the model that almost every car manufacturer in the world adopted. Some front wheel drive transversely mounted engines designed being introduced years ago, even before World War II, the German DKW in 1931 or after the World War II, Alex Isigonis created the British Mini, but they are different design using the same block for the engine and gearbox and the same oil. So this layout, engineered by engineer Dante Giacosa, was the most innovative thing in the automotive industry during its time and for the first time used in the mass-produced car Fiat 128. It was in production from 1969 to 1985. So long time, but because it was a very successful car, after 1970s, the car went in production under license in different countries. The most famous under license copies of, of this car were produced in Spain, Seat 128. In Egypt, was known as a Nasser 128. By the way, nothing in common with Christian Ronaldo's new Saudi Arabian team, Al Nasser. And of course, in ex-communistic country Yugoslavia, known as a Zastava. In these countries, even the car was in production till 2003. Imagine how long time. 128 model was known in many countries and continents, including South America, of course. And over 3 million were manufactured. Because it was so innovative, in 1970 it was named European Car of the Year. Very prestigious prize, something similar, a football club to win the Champions League or a football player to win a Ballon d'Or. Not only the engine gearbox pattern or the front setting was the innovation. Innovative was the clutch release mechanism. The electronically operated cooling fan, which by the way was much more effective than the standard belt operated old style fans. Also the other very important part of the car is the internal space and the boot space. Even to make more space, the spare tire is placed in the engine bay. By the way, the tires are very small size, but normal for its time, and they are Pirelli Cintura 2145R13 or Michelin ZX same size. So the car is very spacious inside with enough room for 4 or even 5 people, despite the small car dimensions. The car is long 3 meter 850 mm, is wide 1 meter 590 mm and is high just 1 meter 340 mm. But with wheelbase 2 meter 445 mm. So the wheelbase is a little bit longer than the car size, which is actually as well one good factor for more internal space. The curb weight is approximately 750 770 kilograms, very light car. But again, inside is very large. And this is thanks to the front layout setting. No need tunnel for the rear wheel drive drive shaft. But as well thanks to 
the other engineer who designed the engine. Another master, Aurelio Lampredi. Don't forget he was working for Ferrari and created there some of the most incredible engines of all time. The other interesting thing about Fiat 128 are the front disc brakes, the rear independent suspension as well, which also was very modern for its time. And thanks to this rear suspension setting, the car has as well massive cargo space in the boot. We mentioned as well the spare tire was missing from there. All these innovations and radical designs make the car very light. We mentioned 750-770 kg, but also very stable on the road. The most important thing, very easy to drive. Very light Lampredi engine in combination with the very innovative Dante Giacosa front setting, light bodywork, modern rear suspension with Pirelli or Michelin tires, of course the car is going to be easy to drive. There were different versions of this Fiat 128, four-door sedan or two-door sedan, like this particular car is a little bit modified but looks very cool. Later on the two-door Fiat 128 Coupe arrived, very sporty looks by the way, even estate and pickup were developed, but all on the same platform or base. All cars are equipped with uh, the 1.1 or 1.3 liter, by the way 1.1 1 .1 was 1116 cc, 1 1.3 1290 cc, they are Lampredi engines and only 4 speed manual gearbox. The most attractive probably from all versions was the 128 rally version equipped with the 1.3 liter engine but different setting suspension, design elements, Weber carburetor and engine head. The power is 66 horsepower. Compared with 49.55 horsepower other Fiat's, this is a really sports car. Also the coupe is very nice looking sporty car. Because of this new engine gearbox layout configuration, Fiat developed other cars even rear mid-engine car like Fiat X19 was now very, very easy with this innovative design to create other cars. We can say even very easy today, this car was the influential car that many car manufacturers still using today, the design of the Fiat 128. Almost every front-wheel drive car today has front longitudinally mounted engine gearbox in line in one side of course with unequal drive shafts moving each front wheel. The car was that good so outperform any concurrent on that time. Some five years later in 1974 Mark I Volkswagen Golf arrived, the first German Golf but designed by Italian master Giorgetto Giugiaro which probably was better car and later on Honda Civic. But again, the innovator, the original was Fiat 128, then the others. The Fiat 128 was the first car to future the all new Fiat single overhead engine, very advanced for its time, with aluminium head and direct overhead camshaft driven by rubber tooth belt. Also this design was adopted by most car manufacturers. For its time, the car was very fast, 140 km per hour or 87 approximately miles per hour. Acceleration from 0 to 100 km per hour or 62 miles per hour between 15 and 15 15.5 seconds. And the car was ahead of many other rivals. The car was very well received in USA as well. For 1975, Fiat dealers sold approximately 100,000 cars from all models, but most of them Fiat 128. On the end, the Fiat 128 was replaced by the new model, 1978 model Fiat Ritmo or Strada in UK, but the legacy of 128 was still in the new car. Actually, still today, the conception is with most of the cars in the world, who use it, which one using front wheel drive. So Fiat 128 really is just amazing car, incredible car, was very, very innovative for the time. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing. And we're gonna say on the end again, this car was engineered by Dante Giacosa, very famous Italian engineer, 
And this was the first car to use the layout engine gearbox in one lane, transversely mounted, an EQ drive shafts, McPherson struts, and this uh, Jacosa pattern front wheel drive layout, it became the model that almost every car manufacturer in the world adopted. So it was very, very in innovative car back on the day, 1960s, late 1960s, 1970s. It became 1970 car, European car of the year, which was something, something very good for that time. So this car really is just amazing front wheel drive, massive cargo space on the boot, internal space for four or five people, four doors or two doors coupe sports versions. The car was just the base, the chassis of the car was just amazing. They can do on this chassis actually everything they want. Guys, this was everything about Fiat 128, especially the car in front of us is very cool versions of this Fiat 128 sedan. Looks really very good, very cool. Guys, if you like the video, please subscribe my channel and see you next time. Bye.